everyone, welcome back to our channel. Let's start with the news today. Sean Hannity's remarkable failed attempt to get Trump to call Putin evil. Donald Trump Jr. this week uh, offered his father an out when it comes to uh, the elder Trump's increasingly assembly uh, recent in past praise for uh, Russian President Vladimir Putin. His dad would just uh, play Putin fair enough, just uh, just in his up. Now with uh, Putin invading Ukraine and becoming a pariah on uh, the world stage, would seem to be the time for Donald Trump Syria to say what he really thinks. Putin, after all, now knows it was just a rust of all. The former president apparently didn't get the memo. During a lengthy interview with Fox News' Sean Hannity on Thursday night, Hannity played a role he has become exceedingly family with uh, trying to coach Trump through saying the right thing. In this case, uh, the things with uh, that put is evil or an enemy. 90% of Americans, after all, dislike Putin in uh, the new poll, and 86% view him very unfavorably. So it kind of a slam dunk politically, and it would sure, sure have Trump fellow Republicans who have strained to ensure they view Putin as evil, even if Trump hasn't. But Trump, true to form, wouldn't take the hint. Repeatedly, Hannity's tried to elicit Trump into a calling Putin's evils or something amounting to it. And repeatedly, Trump declined instead of focusing on tangential issues. When he did lament uh, the interior scenes in Ukraine, he talked about it merely as something sad or regrettable that was happening rather than attaching it to Putin. You see what is going on with Vladimir Putin. Hannity began. He invaded a sovereign country. You see that a maternity hospital were his yesterday. You can see that entire neighborhood have been leveled. We showed uh, some images. There was a mass grave of uh, about 70 uh, people. We have seen dead uh, bodies of men, women, and children in the street of the Ukraine. Your reaction to what you are seeing? In response, Trump called the situation sad, but rather than uh, addressing what's going on with Vladimir Putin, Trump instead re-upped uh, his claim that his uh, wouldn't have happened on his watch. He also suggested the invasion was a function of weak American leadership. This is the end of our news today. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.